What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. OMG, I am so happy that it is the weekend. I tell you guys all the time, even though I don't have days off, I'm glad it's the weekend because this week has been really like physically draining with workouts and my personal trainer kicking my behind. Today, ugh, she really like she really got me today. Today was leg day. I take the weekends off. Those are my rest days, which is why I'm so happy that it's Friday. <laughs> the weekend is finally here, so I get to uh, recuperate and get ready for the intense workout I have waiting for me on Monday. But anyway, you guys, it is Friday. We made it. You made it. I am proud of you. It's been a long week um, for me. I've just been kind of a little mentally drained, physically drained. Um, I've had to push myself a little harder this week uh, because of that, but I have pushed through. Um, I've been doing everything that I'm supposed to do other than going to bed on time and waking up early. That's something that I am a... Um, big procrastinator about y'all i'm trying really hard to just change the way that i sleep and it's just not working because i get caught up watching stuff or maybe gaming a little late and then there's something that i want to watch after i game and there goes my plan of getting into bed on time so anyway you guys i hope you guys had a great day i hope you guys are out of work and at home or at least on your way home hope you guys didn't hit too much traffic if it's payday for you guys congratulations <laughs> hope you guys go out and enjoy your friday whether it's taking a break from the kitchen and having some takeout or you know just being able to just go home and relax for the evening and preparing for whatever you have in store for the weekend for me i'm gonna go see my aunt tomorrow me and my sister because as some of you know i explained to you guys that i did have a cousin that passed away last weekend so um, we're gonna go ahead and see her. They've been really busy this week, so we're gonna spend some time with her tomorrow. But you guys, I I finished the God of War Ragnarok yesterday, but I still have a little bit more to go because I haven't gotten to Brock's funeral yet. So I'm gonna jump on that later on today. But you guys, the ending to that, I'm gonna wait for the review for my gaming review. But I was like in tears. Uh that get it is unbelievable to me how gaming has gone so far and have come such a long way to where you are getting emotional over a video game. <laughs> a video game. I was sitting here last night playing and I'm just like, how can the video games have me in all my feelings like this? Like, this game, literally, God of War Ragnarok, has had my heartstrings pulled in so many different directions, you guys. I'm gonna wait until I officially officially finish it to give you guys my review for God of War Ragnarok but last night was a tearjerker anyway um you guys I just want to encourage you as always the weekend is approaching you want to relax you don't want to do anything you're free from work you've got housework to do maybe some things to attend to some errands to run um, but as always I just want you guys to be proactive with your goals okay Take the weekend to be selfish with your time and with yourself. During the week, you know, and I know what this is like because I've worked a nine to five before and have had to wait to the weekend to do the things that I want to do. Or maybe I didn't accomplish certain things that I wanted to accomplish because I was so emotionally drained from my nine to five job that what I wanted to do with myself and my goals and my desires got pushed so far back to the back burner that they weren't worked on, right? So... I want you guys to know, and, and this is to piggyback off of what I was saying the other day, if you guys have a goal, whether it's, I don't care if it's a hobby that turns into maybe a career or a side hustle, um, it could be anything, you guys, anything from crocheting to working out to beauty to just documenting your life as maybe a single parent or uh possibly, I mean, hopefully not, but 
a widow. I have seen a couple of pages on Instagram where, you know, there are lots of people out there who are documenting what it's like being a widow. Not saying that that's you, but I'm just saying that's an idea. Um, being a gamer, um, motivational, gardening, um, nutrition, um, organizing. There's a lot of videos out now within YouTube and Instagram that I kind of follow, which gives some really good ideas on organizing things around your home. No matter what it is, it could be a hobby right now, but if it's something that you really want to, like if it's a passion for you to want to do something like that, say, you know what, I really think that I can show my skills and teach other people how to do this or how to go about doing that. You know, you work your nine to five during the week, but never forget about yourself. I always, I always sometimes had a problem with saying put yourself first because I always felt like it was selfish, but it's important for you to put yourself first. It's not selfish. Even if you have a family, just because you have a family or you have a partner or you're married doesn't mean that you're putting them last, but it means that you're not forgetting about yourself, right? And I don't want you guys to sit here and have a busy life and, you know, working a nine to five or working overtime or maybe even doing some work on the weekends and not working on your own goals and your own self. You know, when it comes to self-care, that is part of self-care. Self-care means caring for yourself, be it mental, emotional, physical, or career-driven as well. So if it's a hobby, all you need is a phone. Literally, if it's something that you want to spread out to the world and you want to say, hey, you know what, I had this skill, let me just record this and see what happens. All you need is an account on YouTube and your phone. If that's your thing, I mean, whatever platform, but you know, you can record yourself and if you're good at editing or find a good editor, you know, it's, it's easy to learn how to edit videos and things like that. But there's this hashtag out now, I guess called get ready with me, G R W M I think. And it's just people recording themselves, themselves getting ready for the day, whether it's getting up in the morning, showering doing your makeup, washing your face, getting your breakfast together, drinking your shake, getting dressed and walking out the door. Like it's a thing. And so even that will kind of help with what you're trying to do. So on your weekends, if you're the type of person that you are an organizer and you take the weekends to do your laundry, to organize, to clean and things like that, um, it would be a good idea for you to make a video. Hey, Saturday morning cleaning with me and then just add music. I mean, this is just ideas. This is just stuff that I'm throwing out. But just record yourself organizing a certain part. Like if if you have a messy vanity full of makeup everywhere um, and, and you are one of those people, you are like the, it's your profession to organize or it's your side hustle to organize, do it. It may blow up for you. You never know. But be proactive. Be proactive in whatever it is that you want to do whether it's career driven or whether it's getting to the gym what if you can't get to the gym during the week and you're too tired after work take a saturday morning a sunday morning to get into the gym early in the morning before you start your weekend duties be proactive you want to start a good diet start eliminating the bad things it's not easy but eliminating things little by little does show big results later so whether it's you have carbs twice a day. Maybe you have bread in the morning, pasta at night, rice for lunch. Start eliminating things. If you have a bagel or, or a piece of bread or something for the morning, cut out the carbs for the afternoon. Or maybe do intermittent fasting where you are knocking down breakfast once every other day. Or I mean, I'm no doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, but these are things that I have learned, that I have researched, um, that I have been, you know, taught how to do if I want certain results. Um, being proactive, you know, that's being proactive, cutting down on your carbs so you can have a better healthy lifestyle. Or if you've been wanting to juice, you have a juicer and you haven't touched it in, I don't know, since Christmas. Juice, go buy some fruit and juice it. Get into the habit of juicing. See how long it takes you. See what you like. Mix different fruits. See what's good for you. And maybe that can turn into your breakfast. Hence, your healthy lifestyle. 
Um, it's all about being proactive, you guys. You get back what you put in. If you sit back and you do nothing, you are not going to get any closer to your goal than where you were the day before. So um, in order for you to get different results, you got to do something different. Or as they say, in order for you to get something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done, right? Makes sense. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great, productive, joyful, happy, um, restful weekend, you guys. Definitely get your rest because I know during the week things can get hectic. Um, put yourself first. Make sure that you give yourself some solitude, journal, take some time to just relax, have a nice bath, have a cup of coffee, maybe have a cup of wine. Never know what you're into. But anyway, be proactive though, guys. Be proactive. I can't stress that enough. I can't stress that enough. So I hope you guys have a great weekend on purpose. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later.